Well, I think I hear the mailman again. Let's take a look. I've got some boxes here, but uh, let's check the uh, mailbox for the rest of the mail. Uh, credit union, credit card stuff. I don't know what this is. Junk mail, I guess. Oh, here's some more junk mail. Oh, Bass Pro Shop. Okay, that's cool. But why? Why would they leave the boxes over there and not put the mail with them? I don't know. That's crazy. He had enough time to walk all the way over here. To give me these boxes. Why didn't he just put the mail right there? I don't know. All right, guys, which box should I uh, open up first? Hey guys, Francis here again, and as you saw, I just got like three boxes all at once. Uh, two were the uh, Lucky Tackle box, and uh, one was the Mystery Tackle box. And the uh, one of the Lucky Tackle boxes was the saltwater version that I said I was going to change over to, and the other one is still the um, the regular Lucky Tackle box. And I'm still expecting the Lucky Tackle box. XL or Pro or whatever it is. But anyway, I thought I would just go ahead and uh, go over the new uh, saltwater tackle box with you because this is brand new for me and I'm just now going to, uh, it's my plans to get back into saltwater inshore um, fishing again. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and open her up. And of course, the first thing I guess you still all get is the uh, yellow ticket. And as you know by now, um, there's drawings on a live uh, cast on their YouTube channel. This one's going to be on the 20th between 6 p.m. Well, at 6 p.m. on uh, Pacific Standard Time. And uh, so, you know, you get the uh, your number. If it's called, then uh, you get something, right? Uh, better than the scratch-offs because at least we know some people win something, right? Second is the uh, sticker. It's the same sticker that we got in the boxes uh, last month. Uh, and I kind of like it because it's kind of red, white, and blue patriotic. And uh, we'll just move on. Um, haven't obviously looked at the Fish Hound magazine, but as usual, I'm sure they have tips and tricks. And uh, yeah, here's something on tube fishing because I just recently bought a bunch of tube lakes so that'll be good for me to uh, um, read and plus they're talking about other methods of uh, rigging these things with the uh, Z-Man finesse uh, shroom head which is kind of one of those finesse things and what else um, just uh, traditional Texas rig. I wonder if there's anything else in here that stands out. <clears throat> Uh, I'm just going to turn one more page. Oh, yeah, here's another uh, good one on um, knot tying. I'm always into uh, tying knots. Being an ex Boy Scout from a long, long time ago, right? So now we got the card, the bait card that tells you what you got. The first thing it states is um, the uh, Alive Target Glass Minnow Twitch Bait. So that must be. Oh, 
Oh, here it is on top. So it's going to be a twitch bait. And uh, let's see, you know, Live Target is a uh, you know, pretty good quality brand. Let's see if I can pop this out for you. Normally, I've been buying Live Target products for uh, you know, freshwater fishing. I do have one that's meant for uh, salt water. It's, it's like a mullet. But uh, let's see if I can. Well, one of the hooks got hooked into a plastic. Let's see if I can pull it out without killing myself. Nope, I'm not even gonna try right now because I'll just kill myself. But uh, yeah, there you go. It looks like a little uh, bait ball, but uh, for saltwater fishing. And let's see if there's any um, stats on this or information. And I don't see, yeah, here we are on the bottom. Dive depth, zero to one foot. So it's almost like a weight bait, but a twitch also. It's three inches and it weighs seven sixteenths. And uh, it's the, uh, the color is silver, blue, and green. And I do see obviously the silver and the blue, but I don't really see any green in this one. So anyway, we'll just move on. The next bait, oh yeah, that was supposed to uh, go for $15.99. Um, as we know, Live Target is a premium bait, it usually costs a little bit more. Next one is Egret Baits Voodoo Mullet. Um, Voodoo Baits. Ah, here it is. It's a swim bait. And I've seen this at our local Walmart and at our local um, um, Bass Pro Shop. So, you know, it's plastic, but it has, it's uh, jointed and it's held together by a fabric cloth in between. And uh, so you, you just fish just like a swim bait, like for freshwater. Um, I don't see any other statistics. It's three and a half uh, inches long, mullet color. Uh, caution, do not mix with other plastics. So that's gonna be important. I have a feeling this is made with that Elastic Z material. So you don't want this mixing in with your other, uh, your plastics because it'll have a reaction and it'll shrivel up and you gotta be careful with uh, some of your softer uh, plastic uh, tackle boxes out there because they'll kind of warp it. And I've seen that happen with some of mine. So when storing it, I think, um, you know, I'm gonna have to take it out of the package, but I'm thinking about kind of storing it in a smaller uh, hard plastic box to uh, not um, mess up my regular uh, tackle containers. So that's my tip there. Next one is Baiwa uh, Tail Gunner. Okay. And that sells for, well, going back to egret baits, that sells for $6.99. Uh, the Baiwa plastic bait, we've seen this before in a previous box. It's the Tail Gunner. And uh, if I can find a video of, you know, one of the uh, Lucky Tackle Box guys demonstrating it, I'll put it down in the descript uh, description. But um, the last time we got this, it was a dark purple color. And uh, I thought that was great because we got a lot of stained water around here. But it's the same thing this time. It's more of a, uh, a blue and silver. And you can see there's a lot of silver flake in there too. And it kind of has a motor oil scent to it. This actually looks like a sample pack with only three. I think the last time, and the other one I got for the, uh, the bass box with the purple ones was a lot more than just three baits. But again, this is like a regular saltwater box. It's not like a saltwater pro or whatever. And that Biwa, I guess for a four piece, even though um, I'm looking at three pieces here, a four piece uh, set would go for $6.99. Now, next is uh, Lake Fork Trophy Lures uh, Live Swimming Shrimp. And it's another soft bait. And it's pink, um, like a shrimp, and it has some little tentacle or whiskers in front of it. And according to the back, uh, you can uh, rig it weightless, wacky rig, Texas rig, nail rig, which I think they mean Nico rig also, um, Carolina rig, jig head and drop shot. 
So out of all those, I would probably do the Texas rig, uh, you know, do the Carolina, and if not the Carolina, the Mojo, uh, almost the same. Uh, jig rig and of course a drop shot. So I, we don't get Lake Fork lures in my area, uh, so I'm glad to um, get something from it because we just don't get that brand around here. And those Lake Fork Trophy lures, live shrimp, swimming shrimp, go for uh, $6.29. And that looks like a full pack, obviously. Then we got some Mustad hooks. So uh, usually when they give you plastic baits, they give you some uh, hooks along with it. And this is uh, a 3 uh looks like a regular 3 aught worm hook. And uh, yeah, they could go with uh, those baits. I can see that. And those mustads go for uh, $349. Now we got a Bagley Finger Mullet Fish Bait. Here it is. Let me go ahead and take it out. Um, from just reading it on the package, it looks like it's a, a topwater uh, bait. So you'll probably have to do something like walking the dog with it. It's kind of yellow, chartreuse, shiny. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good color from what I've been reading for, uh, you know, inshore type of stuff. And the hooks aren't real sticky, sticky sharp. Not like those Japanese stuff. But anyway, that's what that's all about. Put it back. And uh, last but not least, and I've never heard of this brand. It's uh, Wild Willy, the original. So it's a, uh, to me, it looks like a small jerk bait slash um, uh, yeah, take a look. It looks more like a stick bait type of thing. So I would probably fish it like a um, stick bait it's kind of white on top, a black head, and a red bottom. And I'm assuming it's in the saltwater box, and these are saltwater colors. I'm assuming here. Because I'm kind of new at all this. Uh, you saw one of my previous videos. I went to Walmart and bought a bunch of uh, saltwater baits because that's my plan this year is to get more into inshore. Hey guys, that's it. Um, you know, this is saltwater baits are pretty new to me. So that's about all I can really um, add. Uh, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, uh, transfer my knowledge from freshwater baits to saltwater, how they would behave in, in the colors and that type of thing. So uh, I guess I'll work on the next box. And until then, y'all take care. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.